so uh, now we'll define our win load okay so to define win load i will use a simple excel sheet so here win load analysis i'll close that here and here so uh, something we need to change actually first of all actually uh here i'm using location as i'm using my country system that's why i'm using location and uh, if you need that excel sheet actually you can contact with me i will modify that for you as per your coach okay so and after uh, providing all data here if you click here software input just see you will get the value for your software input very easily okay because you know uh, to define will load data we need to calculate many things like gas factor then topographic factor and uh, e1 e2 we need to calculate that actually but if we provide uh, or if we uh, and also cp uh, minus uh, windward cp and leeward cp we need to provide that value actually but if we use that excel sheet that will be very easy to provide that value in etabs okay now i'll go to data input section by clicking there and now location so i'm using uh, a location like couple guns then occupancy category so what will be the just see if you take mouse here or uh, if you take mouse here you will see all of that information here okay so uh, from here you have to select the occupancy categories i'm selecting open occupancy category 2 and exposure type so also if you take mouse here you will see the exposure type condition a v c here everything is given uh, given i'm just randomly taking a then reach height so what is the meaning of reach height and eve height so here you can see that here reach height means okay the height till the top of your structure and uh eve height means height till that eve okay but when your structure are flat i mean when you are trying for a concrete structure then no need to worry about that you will be able to use that um without providing different value of hr and he so um here we know from previous lecture our height of our structure one one four hundred forty and also here uh i mean this value is also uh sorry um here we need to uh minus eight because we need that height from i mean ground level to top okay not from base to top so here uh if i uh provide here 10606 feet 10606 feet and building width so what will be the building width now the most important thing so no uh here two things they have two things one is building width and building length clear so just simply normal to building reach so what is the reach actually this is the reach and in that direction will be normal so um, in etabs if you consider then in x the distance of extraction distance of our extraction right and um for our building length the parallel to building reach that means parallel to that so here we can consider that direction is length and that direction is width clear so if we go here i mean if we go to our plan now this is the distance and simply if i go here draw then draw a dimension line then from that point to that point we have to consider or if we go uh, by clicking here if we go top here actually so we'll get the actual distance again i'll go draw then draw dimension line and uh, sorry escape then draw 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 dimension line to find out the distance from that point to that point so what is the distance actually 51.9 that means 60 uh, and in that direction that is uh, 34.29 okay so i'll go here that means in that direction 32 point sorry i need to check again 34.29 34 okay just i'm giving here 
and uh, here building length in that direction what is sorry what is that 100 sorry 51.5 that means 50 uh 51.5 that's it now wind direction so when we are find, finding um uh, wind for x direction okay then we'll consider the normal and parallel to reach so uh, normal means the wind direction are parallel uh, normal to that reach that means x direction okay as per that plan i'll skip it so first of all we'll find out um uh, we load for x direction i'll just click here normal to x direction then roof type again okay. when we are providing the uh, reach height and eve height that then nothing to worry about that gavel or mono slope what is the meaning of gavel so this is the gavel and mono slope will be if they have one slope like that okay so nothing to worry about that cause how our hr and hr state after that here exclosure classification here you can see the open building partially enclosed building and enclosed building and here all everything is given so i'll consider partially enclosed building because if we need to um, uh, select the enclosed building then it should be uh, closed more than 80 percent okay so uh, i will consider partially enclosed building then damping ratio 0 0.05 and here it's given okay uh, for uh, which types of work you have to select how much of that value it's given here then a structure type so which types of a structure i'm um, i have selected here type of a structure uh here type one type two type three with building main wind resisting frame system so i'm considering this um, main wind or uh wind force resisting system so type one you can select any type from here then uh a structure frame types so which types of a structure actually concrete moment resisting frame is still moment resisting frame so this is concrete moment resting frame and topographic factor so they have a huge calculation on it but when uh, the effect the effect of wind is split shall not be required to be considered then we'll consider kz equal to one then just i'm randomly taking one and if you need to calculate that you can follow that section 26.8 or actually here everything is given now when it's done your work is done now i'll just simply you can see here all calculation are given uh, here also actually uh, for that value for that value actually so this, is, this is above i mean the value of first floor 10 and 20 30 40 50 60 and if we consider for our top that was on so what will be that value on zero six or on zero eight without radius okay so here you can see here uh, our value are available and if you need to increase that okay if you need to increase that you can simply do it simply select and simply do like that okay so i'm not doing that now so in this way you can find out at value for your manual work or manual calculation so if i just go top now i'll go here software input and here the value of our software input are available okay so value of our software input are available and uh, uh one thing we'll just um uh, uh, take e1 and e2 as 0 0.15 okay um and if you need to change that if you need to change that then also you need that two value data from etfs xcm value in meter and xcm sorry this is not meter in uh, millimeter and also also x sorry uh, this is meter actually and ycm in meter then xcr in meter and ycr in meter just you have to provide that four values and it will consider um or it will calculate if it's required clear so it's done i'll go for our next work software input for software input here let's see uh, now simply i'll go to our etfs and i'll go select or oh, sorry define then from here i'll go 
load pattern and from load pattern i'll go wx as i have selected that load for wx so here basic wind speed how much 167 then uh, exposure type actually the one thing you need to know here they have exposure to b c and d as per us or a c code but in our country uh, b has been replaced by a c by b and d by c so here a means b so b and if you uh, need that excel sheet and if you uh, want to purchase this excel sheet then directly contact me i will modify that for you okay nothing to worry about that then uh, importance factor what is the importance factor here one and that value of kzt so what is the value of kzt one then ghost factor 0 0.85 cost factor 0 0.89 actually 0 0.89 here then directionality factor kd directionality factor kd 0 0.85 okay it's done now from uh yesterday we know yesterday gf2 terrace include parapet if you have so i'm not including parapet and here this is just that value ratio i'm considering 0 0.15 and 0 0.15 create all sets okay and wind direction and exposure width must select from here ex, uh, exposure from extended of diaphragm okay and from here select zero degree okay select i just i'll click here and here you see here the all value available and select zero degree for x direction then okay and from here wind pressure coefficient okay cp windward and leeward so that is 0 0.8 and 0 0.85 it's done no need to change it so everything is okay everything is okay we have done everything now simply click or okay done and for y just one thing we need to change modify one thing we need to change from excel sheet i'll go data input and one thing just wind direction we have to change parallel that's it and go to software input that's it just see some things uh, here some uh, data have been changed like uh, ghost factor okay you see here ghost factor 0 0.9 have been changed then uh, here also cp cp have been changed here see so uh, it's very important to consider that and um, i'll just expose that type it's done then here 167 then exposure type that will be b as here one that means it will be b then importance factor on kzt1 and ghost factor 0 0.9 directionality factor kd 0 0.85 uh, kd 0 0.85 okay then from sgf to history paris and this is okay it's all set and from here that will be 90 degree clear 90 degree here it's done or 90 degree for y direction it will be 90 degree and just here 0 0.8 and that will be 0 0.402 that's it okay done we have successfully uh, also provided our wind load actually just simply click ok and save our model save so we are all set we are all set before our analysis so from next lecture i'm going to analyze our uh, uh, structure then also uh, we'll check for our structure that how much important take we need to cover also we'll check that model and after that we'll go for final design so thank you thank you very much and if you think that if you are also if you need this excel sheet please directly contact with me or join as a member in our channel at least um, uh, diamond level or super fan level member and then contact with me with um, given mail or anything or directly go to our website or you can buy that okay so uh, after uh, buying directly contact with me i will modify that for you so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video